this is my Yamaha Kodiak 700 that I recently decided to remove the cable from on the winch and change it out for the Badland 50 foot synthetic rope. And today I'm gonna show you how to install the winch saver, which is this one here. And I'll post a link in the description. This is the winch saver I had on the other, on the cable. And you see that it's all mangled up. So I'm not gonna reuse it. I went ahead and got another. It's the same exact one. So I'm gonna show how to install this one. And just drop a little bit of solder on here. And there we have a working backup light. Connect the solar charge controller to the battery. So the reason why I decided to make this video is because when I was reading the reviews for this winch saver on Amazon, I noticed several comments that gave it one star complaining that the, the slot here is too narrow and it's very hard to get their winch rope through it, which as you can see, it is pretty narrow and it's almost impossible to get this through there. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is that this guide here can be replaced or it can be removed just to manipulate it. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So before even trying to feed it in there, the first thing we're gonna do is set the winch saver aside and focus on this here on the end of the rope. And this guide, you can get these at Amazon, um, on Amazon, at Home Depot, at Lowe's, or just about any hardware store. Uh, these are just, uh, I don't know the technical name for them, the exact name, uh, but I'll find one and post it in the description below. Uh, but to remove this, the first thing we're gonna do is pull. That way we can create some slack down here at this Y and then tilt to either side. It can be bottom or top, whichever. Tilt and then slowly and gently slip the rope out of there without letting it hang up. So we'll do that. Slip the rope out of one side and then it'll uh, by default or inherently just slip out of the other side. And once it's slipped out, then it's just gonna come out real easily. And we can set this aside and you'll see that the rope flattens out pretty good. And it's not damaged or cut in any way. So now that it's flat, we can go ahead and grab our winch saver, put the flat end facing toward the fair lead. We go ahead and feed the rope through. Now that the rope is through to the other side, we can go ahead and reinstall this protector teardrop. So to reinstall it, we take the loop end and drop it in there first. Now once it's positioned in there, just the way you did to take it off, tilt it to one side and slide it in. And then the other side, it should be fairly, fairly easy, uh, but don't push it too hard to where you're tearing any of these threads because then you, you start damaging uh, this end of the of the winch rope. So now that it's on, we can go ahead and get our hook back on there and you're good to go. So now that it's on there, we can go ahead and cinch it up. Now once you've snugged it up to your machine, to the fair lead, you can put it in the center, to, off to one side, however you want. On mine, it has this safety strap with the brand on it just so you're not pulling on the hook uh, because it did come with a cable so you're not cutting yourself with a, a frayed cable end or something but that's uh all i wanted to share um how to install a winch saver onto a winch rope so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and got something out of this video please feel free to leave a comment like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one so here and this Butter for 75 and then we'll just make the transfer.